Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I create this free minute video uh, to provide you with stir frying tips to help you to make stir frying more efficient, creative, and fun. In today's video, I would like to address how to use sesame oil. Uh, Amy loves sesame oil. She puts sesame oil in almost all the dishes that she cook. But she has one advice. Uh, make sure you understand the nature of sesame oil, its flavor and its aroma, uh, because the different type of food ingredients will interact with sesame oil differently. Uh, first of all, the sesame oil has an interesting aroma. It's not have much of a flavor. But the aroma of a sesame oil uh, will provide a woody, earthy, and nutty type of aroma. And if you like that kind of aroma, you will enjoy sesame oil. Now, sesame oil can be used in almost any kind of food ingredients, including vegetables, tofu, chicken, shrimp, beef, fish, and almost any other type of food ingredients that you can use sesame oil with. However, sesame oil has a very subtle flavor. Sesame oil, if you add a lot of it, it can overpower your dish. But if you add a small amount of it, it will increase the complexity of both the flavor uh, as well as the texture of the food ingredients. Now, Amy find that when you use sesame oil, uh, you, you need to be very careful in the type of dishes that you use sesame oil in. And you use them, uh, if you use it with uh, judiciously, it will greatly enhance the nature and of the sesame oil in causing the type of uh, flavor profile that you are looking for. Now, her suggestion is that when you use sesame oil, uh, the first thing you need to think about is that the sesame oil is a flavoring oil. So you should not add the sesame oil too early during the cooking process. In fact, when you're ready to season the dish, which normally I would advise people to do in seasoning their dish, is to season the dish right at the end of the stir-frying process. In this case, you will turn off the heat, and you, therefore you will not risk overcooking the food ingredients. The first thing you do is that you flavor the dish uh, with some of your most uh, basic seasoning uh, agents such as uh, any sauces that you use, soy sauce, oyster sauce, hoisin sauce. And the best thing is that, particularly if you are new, is that you should do flavor tasting each time after you add a sauce, and you adjust the flavor of the dish to pretty much the way how you will like it. The last step is to add your sesame oil. I will add a little bit at a time and do a flavor tasting and see how you like it and you can add more. Uh, it is better to add small amount rather than add too much. If you follow this step, I think you will find the combination that you will like. Uh, feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.